everybody. Since we uh, were up in the area for Lily's uh, shark tooth hunt, we decided to spend the day in St. Augustine. So we're gonna explore the historic district, um, hopefully look at the fort and some of the old streets and other things that there are in this area. Old pirates so. used to throw cannonballs at it or shoot cannonballs at it. And then the coquina rock would just absorb the yeah. cannonballs like it was mashed potatoes. So the pirates said they must, they must have made a fort of mashed potatoes. I think that is so interesting. We're on Ponce de Leon Street and we're heading east. 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 Not east. Huh? You think they'll let us in there? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they'll let us in. We don't have no gold or silver to give them though. You think they'll let us in? Yeah. Oh, you got there. Yeah, that's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. That moat around it used to be filled with water. Yeah, that way if you tried to uh, get over there to it, you'd have to swim in really deep water. Yeah, all the way up to that to that top. They might have had uh, sharks in there and some gators. And piranhas. Piranhas? Oh, you guys are entering a castle. The castle is a fort. It's a fort made of mashed potatoes. That's what the pirates Are you telling me this is filled with water? Yeah, you see water down there. That way you couldn't just walk right up to it. What about those cannonballs? Maybe. I see shade. We got in. I'm just happy we made it. it. Logan, they let you in, bud? They let you in, buddy? Yeah. That's where they used to sleep, Haley. Would you want to sleep right next to a bunch of people? Old smelly people? What do you think, buddy? They're eating. That's their little... They're eating, Yeah, they're eating. They got dinner out. They got a couple fish on the table. You made it. I'm scared of heights. You're not scared of heights.
lookout tower. So what do you think was around back then? This is the door. Oh. Yeah. Daddy was saying that they used to say that it was made out of mashed potatoes because the coquina would absorb the shock. Oh, that was yeah, <laughs> cannibal, but it actually bounced off. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, when well, the British attacked us in 1702, they got within 600 feet of us. Wow. Firing cannons at a range of three miles, and they would bounce off. <laughs> we were in the journals. We would launch a ball, we'd hit the side curtain, bounce off, and roll into the moat. Sometimes it would penetrate a few inches, sometimes a few feet. 1740, they came back, the British, and they fired from Anastasia Island and North Beach. You can still see cannibal impact sites on the eastern wall, and they're a foot and a half deep. Wow. Yep. Pretty cool. All righty. Thank you. Lots of water. That's awesome. It's the, it's the back door lookout. <laughs> it's the lookout. Any pirates out there? Arr. I hear them. <laughs> I'll lift you up, baby. Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it, Amy? Say hello, hello. Hello. The echoes, bud. Do it. Anybody? Home. Say something, Logan. <laughs> Are you in there? It's like something off a scary movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the dungeon. It's the powder powder room. I think they kept all their gunpowder in here so it would be nice and dry out of the humidity. Or and the moisture. Or it was a uh, Or it was a jail. Nah. No, they have bars on that little door. It said powder room right right on it. Powder room. Okay, Don't forget has to complete Luna, the book and get your badge, huh, Lily? Yeah. If the kids complete books, they uh, get badges.
almost all of the rooms downstairs were used for storage of the food, gunpowder, ammunition, and other military supplies they were going to need to defend and feed the entire town until help could get here from the next closest Spanish city. In the 16 and 1700s, that happens to be Havana, Cuba, and depending on the weather, they figured it was going to be about two months for someone to get down there, get help, and get back. So they had to be very careful about how quickly they burned through the supplies that were stockpiled here at the fort. Food was carefully rationed. You were only going to fire the cannons if the enemy actually presented you with a target, and you had to make sure that every shot counts. And the way you do that was by having a very well-trained cannon crew. Now, soldiers of the 18th century were usually illiterate. They could not read or write, so you could not hand them an instruction manual and say, here, learn the cannon drill, there's a test tomorrow. <coughs> they had to practice over and over and over with an officer calling step by step by step the commands to load and fire and clean the cannon. And they would drill like this throughout the entirety of their careers, all these oh, no, no, no. movements. Por fuego! All in order, you check it over! We tried to suck a drop with Mr. Capitan. I don't know what else can you Cover your ears! Fuego! Did it wake you up, buddy? <laughs> What'd y'all think of that? That was cool, huh? <laughs> No, they're cleaning it. They got to clean it out so it's ready for the next time. Daddy, are they doing it again? That's cool, guys.
and share with others what I've learned about our nation's treasures. Very good. And this is a coupon for the bookstore for Junior Ranger things in case you see anything in there more. All right. Good Thank job, you. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. You too. Look, Haley. Let's see all your stuff. Got oh, Logan. Is that where all the cannonballs hit, Haley? Mm -hmm. See them? They, they, they tried back. to tear their fort down with cannonballs, but they did nothing but bounce off. But people, the mashed potatoes absorbed the but shock. But people, the people up there. Yeah. Yes, the people are up there shooting cannons. So right now we're the pirates. We're trying to get into the fort. Arr. They are, matey. with the kids chicken tenders they were like an entire breast fried it was really really good I had a uh, patty melt it was it was pretty good how about you mine was delicious it was a Dublin it's a hamburger basically with bacon it's delicious Oh no, that's cool, huh? 
Yeah. No, don't touch it. Fun? Yeah, you know what we're doing? Look at all these people. Look at that. There's a lot of us, huh? Yeah, well, we, we Central, you, Florida. Yeah. Central Florida. Central yeah. Florida. Okay, so you know a little bit about uh, St. Augustine? This town in here is the oldest town in the United States, the continental United States. Yeah, we started in 1565. How old are you? Six. Six, and you? Ah, well, this city here is 452 years old. That's a lot of years. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we, we all, everybody that you're seeing here, we're walking around and talking to people about that. The history of San Agustin. And we're dressed like the people in those days would have been dressed. And dressed like somebody that was in 1672. Oh, that's a long time ago. Yeah. So how long have you been here? One hour? No. Yeah, so you have been here one hour in a city that have been here for 452 years. How about that? Is that cool or what? Oh, I got something for you. Uh, if I can get it out of my pocket. We weren't all that good making pockets back, you know, 500 years ago. Where our pockets are not really all that good. It's like, it take me forever to get anything out of them. You got good pockets? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you something. Get it out. There we go. Now, yep, we're still there. You want one? <laughs> oh, what do you say? Go one for you, and for you. You're very welcome. Oh, is that off the Atosha, or was that what coin? Oh, that that there actually is is a little bit hard to explain because of the coin uh -huh. but the coin itself for the size okay is called what in spain was called a, an escudo a gold escudo so for the size it's just one escudo but for somebody that knows about this and look at it you're going to see that in a yeah there's more <laughs> in a there you're going to see a little eight a very okay. small little eight. Oh, let me let me show it to man see you have to really look at it uh, let's see. This one is hard, but right there. Okay. See, that's yes. an eight. So that will signify that it was an eight escudo, not one. Okay. And then the A means that it was made in uh, Potosi in Lima, Peru. Okay. So that's what you got in there. Very special. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Oh, oh do we say got yes. a, oh, he's a good <laughs> ranger. Oh, he gets one too. <laughs> yeah. You want one? You know what? Yeah. Hey, thank you. There you go. Don't uh, eat it. It's no candy. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very You're much. Very thank you. Say bye bye. You too. You don't need to go downhill. I can plainly see. But that's the direction you're headed in, so we needed me to keep. I said no. You can't sell that stuff to me. Oh no, I'm going back to Tennessee. I said no.
Taylor, did you have fun today? Yeah, you had a good time? Yeah. Did you have a fun time? Did you have fun, Logan? Yeah.